I what do you want? What do you want to say? Is that a blood feather? I know. People, does that look like a blood feather to you? There's blood in it. I take it to the vet. I found it outside. Yeah, but even if that is, he still might be okay. He still might be. Okay, we're going now, people. He's up and moving. Okay, so we're in the car now, people. What does he like to me? He likes it when I massage his head like that. Mm. Okay, well, when I turn on the motor, it will be new to him. He's never been in the car before, right? Yeah. This is Mr. Lace's first car ride. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, he's slightly he's slightly afraid of this car, people. See, he's, he, Charmaine, you have to hang on to him. He's not used to the movement. Okay, because if he jumps out, he's going to jump out the windows. Right? Yeah. Okay, this is the first time he's ever been in a car. You can tell he's scared. He's hot too, but he's scared. Mom, you're freaking videotaping while you're driving. I'm only in the parking lot of the gas ass station ass here. Bitch, 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 bitch. I'm only in the gas station, ass, people. I'm just coming up into the, you know, I'm not even on the road yet. I just want you to see how he's responding to the motion of the car. He's petrified. Okay, I'm serious, mate. He's ready to bolt. So you hang on to him. Just he ain't gonna bolt. He will though if he thinks he can. And the thing is, he won't stop. He'll fly out the freaking window. Okay, I gotta focus on the road and be prepared for this chicken to jump. Okay, for a chicken that's never been in a car before, he's doing pretty good. Hey, Mr. Nace? Are you doing pretty good? He's slightly paranoid, right? He's extremely hot, right? We got him in a little cat bed here, but he's behaving. He likes to be like this. This calms him down. Right. Uh, Mr. Mace, when we get to the vet, you can have some water. We should have probably brought some water in the car. We weren't thinking. Right. It's all new to us. This is really hot outside. Hey, Mr. Mace. He knows something's up, though. He's doing really well. He's very calm. Right? You're being very calm, aren't you, Mr. Lace? Oh, my ear. Huh? How close can we get to your eye? You just stay. Auntie Shame will be in a minute. We're just at the bank here, people. And then we're going straight to the vet. Okay, he doesn't like the camera looking at him right now, so I'll turn it off. Okay. Okay, my friends, what are we doing now? Well, what do you think we're doing, Andre? Where are we? At the, at the doctor's. Yeah, we're at the animal doctor, the veterinarian. Huh? All right, we're just waiting now. See, he's all the dog food and everything. But I mean, they don't have chicken food. No, they don't have chicken food here. But after Mr. Nace, this doctor might decide he might want to be a chicken doctor. Mr. Nace is such a cool bird. <laughs> hey? No. He, no. He handled the car ride pretty good, considering he's never been in a car before. He only stood up one time, eh, Shemay? Mm hmm Yeah. No. Shemay has, has a way of just calming him right down, you can see, right? He just really, really likes that. Just really likes that. Where's the doctor? Hi. Oh, that's the receptionist, the nurse. The doctor's coming soon. <laughs> it's okay. No. Okay, so doctor's gonna look now. We put turmeric on it yesterday. A little bit. To help with if there was like gonna get any infection. Okay. Okay. This is one wound on the neck. It seems to be the only wound that yeah, he has. But then we didn't really look either. Yeah, this is uh, what you did uh, for this before anything? Just turmeric. My landlord. <laughs> he said turmeric. Because I had okay, another. Okay, turmeric. Uh, and I had another bird that had got um, attacked by a rat. 
Turmeric. And okay. chewed up her head. And we put turmeric on and it healed. Yeah, yeah. So oh, no, we can give you the ointment. So just uh, you can uh, do that ointment. Mm -hmm. And uh, even uh, you can give the... Oh, he's okay. No, he's okay. He's okay. resting his head because it hurts. <laughs> and maybe his wing. You Can you see? Something wrong. I don't know if it's broken or what. Yeah, there is. Hey, look how he's letting you touch him. He's such a good bird. Mm -hmm. He is. He's being patient. He knows he's getting help. He this knows one, he's getting help. This one doesn't look too bad. Right. And underneath? Should I turn him around? Yeah, yeah. You're okay, Mr. Lace. We've had him for a long time, so. You're yeah. just getting a check over here, bud. Oh, he's looking good, yeah. He's a Brutus, eh? I think he has mites, though. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I had ash, but it's some it's something happened to it, so I have to get more ash. What about the blood feather? He's got That's one okay. tail feather left, just one. That's okay. Yeah, okay. You think he'll be okay? Yeah. So. Otherwise, he's a... Uh, he drinking water. He was up. He was moving. You did not see. So last night he was just resting, but I came home. He was like, he was making noise. He was moving. He was drinking the water. He talks to the hens. He's in the bathtub right now. But I'm going to finish the hen house. So this is a... Uh, okay. That certainly doesn't look as bad as it did yesterday, though. No, it still looks pretty see. bad. It looks like it might have like he tried to heal himself. So, um, this side there is a wound under the yeah arm. Should I hold that for you? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. This is the left side. Yeah. He lucky bird, eh? I can't see. Okay, so uh, there is a iodine solution. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, put that iodine solution every day with the swab, okay? A small, like a, a cotton swab or with like the a... Cotton, with the oh. cotton ball or just with the tissue paper, even. Okay. I'll show you how to put that, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. And in case you want to give the antibiotics, Antibiotics you can give only in the drinking water. Okay. You cannot give any injection. No. Drinking water you can give the antibiotics. You think that I should? we can give you also. You think I should? Yeah. Okay. That will help us. You cannot put the, the ointment everywhere. Just antibiotic will help in healing. Yeah. Okay. 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 That sounds better. Okay. You so, think he's gonna he's gonna make it? Yeah. Let me check uh, actually what antibiotics we can give you because. We are now doing it in a routine. Yeah, okay. okay so I have to check, okay? Yeah, okay. Wait here, okay? Yeah. yeah. Check mine. Hmm? No. no. You're a lucky bird, Mr. Lace. Hey? Okay. Now, at least you can't go there. Now, you can't go so there. So, people, the reason his, he's like that with his wing is because he's all injured underneath the wing. On. So as it heals underneath, he'll get stronger, and it should be fine. The doctor didn't see any broken bones poking out or anything like that. <coughs> so this is good. Mm -hmm. See how patient he's being? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Lace. Oh, he did poo in here, too. Well, just turn it around. That's okay. Where is it? We just don't want to have him jump off the table. Let's see. Does it look like he's going to Now go. Mr. Lace. I can't see. What do you want to see? I want to see. 
bring the chair over. <coughs> oh, he wants to see in the camera. You want to see in the camera or just stand there? I wonder how many feathers will grow back. Except for maybe that one little spot. Okay, we're going to turn this off, and when the doctor comes back, he's going to show us how to put this stuff on. Just resting. He said that car ride was something else. What do you mean? Well, he never was in a car before. Okay. We just don't want him jumping off the table. Why not? Okay, he's getting frisky. Well, that's a good thing, at least, you know, he's... He's, he's yeah, mm -hmm. me. That's why. That's okay. Yeah, no, that's, the point. that's why. That's <coughs> why. No, I think he's very. Go to the bathroom once more. You know what, Mr. Lace? After being all beat up, you're still a very handsome bird. Eh? Yeah. I'm very nice. Uh, we know your wing is sore. Right? Yeah, and. Uh, you don't want to go home, uh, too. Yeah, you're being curious, are you? No. Uh, Wait, I bet he's thirsty. I wonder what he's going to be like when he gets like more older and more mature. His face is right? He's such a thinker as it is, you know what I mean? Shmay. <coughs> and he's so nurturing with the hens. You know, he, he, he will feed them before he feeds himself. What is that like a, so? No, it's true. I've got him on camera. I just haven't uploaded it yet. Yeah. If I give him yeah. food, he picks up the food and he tries to give it to the hens and he'll drop it. And then he picks it up again and he drops it right in front of the hen so the hen will eat it. I he see. does that. And then if the hens, if they escape the yard and I give him a blueberry, he'll run out and he'll have the blueberry. Is that and so? he, he, he crows for them and he'll drop the blueberry, pick up the blueberry, yeah, drop it. And then he'll no, do that several cool. times, right, trying to call him to come and get the blueberry. He oh. won't eat the blueberry. He just picks it up, drops it, squawks. I'm looking pick at it. His yeah, eyes. yeah, yeah. That's so. Funny. And then one time I went in to go get an egg, and he seen me get the eggs. He, he tried to come after me. He didn't want me to take the eggs. He was protecting the eggs. Not only does he protect the hens, but he protects the eggs too. You should try and nurture an egg so it can grow into a. <coughs> <laughs> you need to incubate them under a certain temperature. And then when they're born, you have to wipe their little butts and... Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm too busy this year. Maybe next year. We'll no. see. No, wait. Not this year. Wait, now. Let's take care of Mr. Lace first. Cheeky? Hmm? Have a little cheeky. That'd be so cute. <laughs> I know it'd be cute, yeah, but that'd yeah, be better yeah, next year. Little yellow yeah, chick. Yeah, man. No, no. <laughs> Mr. Lace's prodigies. No, I didn't have my jacket. Okay, well, don't worry. It's not that cold in here. It's cool. No, I want to go to my jacket. <coughs> no, you just wait. Oh, no, wait. Wait, no. No. I feel so much better that we're here having the doctor just take a boo at him. This is so much better. Oh, no. no, jeez. Oh, raccoon just chowing down. Okay people, so really this is one lucky bird. You know the kids find him when he's an adolescent about four months old, mm -hmm. right, before he even knew how to crow, running around honest to God in the fog at 9 30 at night, 20 below weather, it was the coldest snap that we had in 50 years. It was 20 below, it was foggy out there, they found him out running around. <coughs> I had went to a pet store after I found him and the people that I were talking to, they told me that if the girls wouldn't have found him that night under those conditions, he would have died. Guaranteed. But they found him, chased him around in the ditch, and they caught him, brought him home. He lived in a cage for six weeks in my kitchen. He used to fly out of the cage, and Uncle John would say, get back in your cage, and he'd go back in his cage. Uncle John had a conversation with him. I'd have a conversation with Mr. Mays. <laughs> you know, and then he gets out in the pen, and... He's battling rats and he's battling raccoons, <laughs> yeah, battling the city, right? Yeah, you know, and, 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 and then he gets into a fight, like a literal, literal, literally, he gets into a fight. 
He's, he's such a trooper. He's yeah, such a trooper. So. Right? Hmm. And the doctor's taking good care of him. And what, 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 what? This bird has like, got some serious luck to him. Right. Well, we're lucky too to have Mr. Lewis. Hey, I know. He's a good bird. Right, Can yeah. you, what are you doing? Okay. All right. He's 35. Let's see. 3.6 pounds. 3.6 pounds. 3.6 pounds? Yeah. Okay. So we're thinking to maybe administer the antibiotic yeah, yeah. via through I mouth here. That, yeah. That's what the doctor is saying. So, because he might oh, not get the... He's like all swapped off. Uh, might not get the... Well, he looks um, mad right now. Might not get... <laughs> <laughs> he's his face. Hey, why are you parading me around like this on YouTube? You see that face though? Huh? That was like, what did you put Bruce me on? Face right there. Okay, you can remove him off of that and put him back on the, on there, Shmi, please. He, he's probably like, where? Why'd you put me up here? <laughs> okay, you just stay put, Mr. Lace. You can't run off. Don't he's try not. and jump off the table. He's not. His hand on Okay. Interested. Right. You know what's going on. Yeah, you do. Uh, I'm telling you, their chickens are intuitive. They know more than you think they know. Like, honest to God, I they communicate through telepathy, 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 telepathy. <laughs> they communicate through telepathy. Yeah, I know your neck is sore. Like we can see your brow. Yeah. Right. Huh? Don't go too far. He's not moving. If he wants to move, he can move. Mm hmm. I wish so too. Well, he is a chicken. So when I went outside and scared off the raccoon, he's, he's he ran up the stairs and ran into the house because the door was open and he oh. he was just trying to get away. I wish he's going down now. I was running after the raccoon, and that's what released the raccoon. Because I seen the, I heard it, right? I heard him squawk and squeal. I ran out. I dropped my glasses. I couldn't see. I'm running around in the dark. The raccoon. It was just a small one. Took off, and well, mm -hmm. Mr. Lace went off in the other direction, and uh, up the stairs, and then he dashed into the house. That's exactly what he did. I like how your hair curls. Your feathers curl here, Mr. Lace. Hey. And you got this little puff of feather there. It's like a fashion show with you. You got a fashion show going on in here. Huh? Is winter clean up now? Don't worry. Is Mr. Clean up on me? Is this where we're doing now? Okay, now it's on. What do you want to say? Uh, you wanted to talk. Uh, yeah, and just it's, it's Mr. Ray's scroll. Big Mr. Ray's face. Maybe you will be able to go. Maybe you can pick up that. Okay, Shime, Andre, let, let Shimei come and help the doctor here. I'm just going to. So we will give you a dropper then. We're going to use a dropper. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, actually, maybe, maybe. No, no, no. You just doctor knows what he's doing. He's done this many times. Should I try and open it a bit more? Or you got it in there? Should I open it? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I. Difficult to open that. What is it? Chicken. Very good. Yeah, okay. Oh, he that's ate. very good. Yeah, he, he ate it. Smart. Yeah, he ate this. He's smart. He's it's, a smart bird. Yeah. He knows so, you're trying to so help him. That's very good. So he ate this. So you can give this uh, two times daily. Okay. So it, it will help in healing the wound. Okay. That's good. That's done. Okay, look at that. Well, okay. You found a good way. Just oh, no. give this two times. Uh, 
uh, and I'll get, make it level here. Level? Okay. So, okay. So, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So water also you can give like this. It, and that put that in the yeah, water. Yeah. How much water should we put in? Any. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can see. He will be drinking water also. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's more, funny more now. He's got personality. He does. Notice though he's not trying to pack his. Yeah. That's funny, Mr. Waste. Yeah, like this. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. All right, Mr. Mace. You notice, so he could, if he really wanted to, he could have pecked us. I know. He's not. He hasn't pecked us not once since this has happened, people. Him. I'm okay, serious. Let's go. He hasn't shown any sort of aggression since this has happened. Absolutely none. All right, Mr. Mace. Can I hear someone? You're on a roll now. Hey. Yeah. I like your new hairstyle. This shit so much. Uh -huh. Yeah, well. This like this, uh -huh. so you can suck. This label of medication. Okay, so don't make the movie note, that's okay now. Okay. So, so you can give two times daily, shake it. Yeah. Okay, like that we did. So it will help in uh, uh, healing the wound. Okay. okay. What about yeah. the skin? Nothing, just leave it, let it leave it. Don't let it, just when you are giving this one, this will help in healing the It won't matter. Yeah. Underneath everything? Everything, uh, instead of putting medication, if you are giving this medication, yeah. that's good. Okay. Okay, and yeah. no, his wing is not broken. You didn't see no bone. Doesn't look like broken, no, but uh, you there. cannot do anything. No. For this, yeah, you no. Know? Okay. Yeah. So after he feels better, it will probably yeah. repair it. Probably you know, he'll once he starts exercising it yeah. and stuff, right? Okay. Okay, Mr. Lace, you say thank you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He says thank you. Thank so you. Much. <laughs> Okay, so we'll see you in the front there. I just got I just got Mr. Lace and he's nice and ready to hit the road. Yeah, look at that. He's looking like a king in there yeah, now. He's ready. He's comfy. Look yeah, how comfy he is. He, is well, comfy. he, he <laughs> likes it in there. He says, yeah, nice I'm, 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 I'm the king yeah, <laughs> with, my, with my one feather. <laughs> yeah, I'm the king. Right? Remember that, people. I'm the king. <laughs> yes, Andre. Look at that bird. He's just sitting there chilling. What? He's just a chili bean bird. Hey, eh? is Mr. Lace a chili bean bird, Andre? Yes, he is. Are you a chili bean? Are you a chili bean too, Andre? Oh, okay. Oh no, keep it. Keep it. I think roosters, you can trade them. Do you see this, people? He's up on the car, old Betsy. <laughs> just chilling like a chili bean. I think we can train him. Well, he's half trained, but when he's with the when he's with the hens, now, he's all well, rooster. Right? What now? You know, people, now. the people who used to, they train, now, they well, can train them. Look now, I can really sit right here with Mr. Mace. So you're sitting with Mr. Mace on your car. Right? And now, if you... Like, this bird is just too funny. He's just chilling yeah. on the car with his one feather sticking out. You can see that there, people. Right? He's not in no hurry. He knows that we're not leaving him behind. Right? He's not too worried here, eh? He's just all comfy and cozy. He says, I like this better than my perch. <laughs> yeah, right? I can get comfortable with this, right? Eh? Yeah. Um, we're just giving him some time just to collect his thoughts here and have a smoke ourselves, right? <laughs> Sonia. Okay, people. So now we're driving out of here. Mr. Dace just laying up in his... Yeah, he's just cool and he's Yeah, he's, he says, I've been through this before. I don't mind it. It actually feels pretty good. I've never seen a bird that's just... Just so a chili bean. Earth. Yeah, he's so down to earth. No kidding, eh? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Dace. He says, thank you. He says, thank you. Thank you for 
believing in me. I think that's more than anything what's you going on. You thought he here. was going to die. Well, I didn't know I what like, to think. No. I have to prepare. To, I, I always have to prepare for the worst. You know, I got to prepare my kids for that mourning process. If he would have died, everybody would have just been like up in arms, crying at some point, right? Over Mr. Lace. You know, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I'm sure it would have came out next week, right? Um, actually, I need to change my glasses here. So anyway, people, as you can see, the veterinarian, the doctor was very good, very kind man. Um, at first, you know, he, he didn't want payment. He said, it's okay. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> you got to take something, right? got to take a little something. you got to have something, you know. Otherwise, you know, I'll be in here every week or something. Yeah. <laughs> I got animals. <laughs> so, so anyway, basic basic examination fee and for the medicine, it was under $50. Mm -hmm. I said, perfect. It works good for me because that's kind of what we were hoping for was about 50 bucks. So it worked out really well. So Mr. Mays has antibiotic two times a day until the medicine runs out. His wing will heal on its own. The uh, doctor said he didn't look like there was anything broken in there. You've seen for yourself, it's just a lot of feathers pulled out and, you know, very raw at this point. Um, so, uh, in terms of all the thumbs down that are going to come in on this video, right, with my little hater crowd, you know, it doesn't distract haters away. Are your, the haters are the ones that envy you the most, Mom. Well, something, I don't know. They do, they're just jealous. Something, something is going on. Gotta love them haters. <laughs> anyway, um, it's not going to, you know, it's still not going to distract away because the doctor and, you know, the people that work in that environment, they didn't say, here, take your box back. <laughs> they have my box. They said, give me about a month and I'll come back with some flyers. You know, it's one of those things you got to get back up on the horse and try it, right? You just can't keep, you, you can't give up. You just got to try it again. So, you know, they understand my situation. Um, I'm gonna try and stay positive on things. I mean, Mr. Lace, obviously a wake up call. You know, we need to get up on it and, and build on that pet program and all the other programs that the nonprofit can, you know, help to support on a local and district and, you know, provincial state slash national level. You know, if you don't like hearing that because you just don't have, the, you know, the, 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 to see ahead that, you know, it's possible to do these things, that's fine, you know, I'm not casting judgment, but then on the other hand, people shouldn't be casting judgment on 14 years of hard work to um, be able to even leave a collection box in an environment such as where we were at, which is a legit business. So it's just a matter of trying to get it to work in our favor. So that's that's what I'm, that's 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 the moral of this story. You know, Mr. Lace kind of gave us that second breath. You know, that second chance in life. He got a second chance in life, people. Like he got beat up real hard over that raccoon situation. So, you know, I'm not I'm not going to drop the ball, right? I'm going to go home and I got a few other letters I have to write and I'm going to make sure I make those flyers. I'm going to make sure they get the flyers and you know they'll put the boxes up when they can you know they don't expect the box out to be all the time but that's okay right the point is is that we're still moving forward so, yeah, he, but look though know, he's doing so much better on this yeah we're not even we're not even having to him. hold him he's, he's calm hey eh? but i think also too before it was really hot i think the heat was hot to him plus he knows he's going home yeah, he does. I think he knows he's going home, people. <laughs> and I think he knows. I think he knows that he's going home with some medicine and that he's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Because I swear, chickens think. Like, they... Oh, he's not even a chicken. He's a rooster, first of all. Well, that's what a chicken is. A chicken is either a rooster or a hen, right? But, I oh. like, they're they're intuitive. You know, they, they talk with uh, telepathy. You know, they try and communicate. They actually try and communicate with you. So we underestimate the intelligence of roosters and hens. <laughs> but he's definitely very comfortable because he does yes. know he's going home. <laughs>